Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we will show you how to pass the steps in a test on the Nusantara ROM. The steps are being carried out on the OPPO F4 phone running the latest version of the Nusantara ROM, but you could carry out the step, steps across all the, across all the Android phone which is running any version of the Nusantara ROM. So with that in mind, let's get started with the steps. So first and foremost, let me show you my phone is currently rooted by matches. So as you can verify from here, it's rooted via the Magis latest version and you can verify the same from the root checker app as well that my phone is rooted. Likewise, let me now show you the safety net test. So for that, I'm using the Yasnak app. You can install the app from Play Store. So launch the Yasnak app. Make sure you are online and now tap on run safety net. So as you could see, currently I'm failing both the tests, which is the basic integrity and CTS profile match test. So as of now, we are failing both the tests and, and our ultimate aim will be to pass both this test. So on that note, let's get started. First and foremost, you have to hide the Magisk app. So launch the Magisk app and tap on the setting second at the top right. Then you have to tap on hide the Magisk app. Then give it any name of your choice. So for the sake of reference, I am renaming it to Dwidewin. And then tap on OK. It will now hide the Magisk app and will only take a few seconds. After that, you will now get the prompt to add shortcut to home screen. I don't want it, so I am tapping on cancel. And it will now show you the Magisk app is hidden. And as of now, we have the Droidwin app, which is our new Magisk app. So you could now access all the Magisk functions from the Droidwin app itself. So next up, we now have to install the systemless host. For that, go to the settings menu of Magisk. And then you have to tap on systemless host. With this, the module is now added. So to verify the same, go back, then go to module section. And as you could see, we now have the systemless host. Next up, you now have to enable Zydisk on your phone. So as of now, you could see it's showing no next to Zydisk. So let's now enable Zygis. So go to the settings menu of Magis and enable the toggle next to Zygis. It will now ask you to restart your phone. We will not do a restart now. Rather, we will now flash a module. And after that, we will do a restart. So next up, you now have to flash the universal safety net fix module. So this is the module. Make sure to download the new version of the module. And once you have done the download, place it onto your phone. Now launch the Magis app. Go to the module section. Tap on install from storage. And let's now select the module. So this is the safety net fix module as you can see selected and then tap on OK in the prompt and it will now flash the module once then tap on reboot and let's wait for our phone to boot up. After that we will first verify if the module has been flashed or not and then we will verify the status status. So let's wait for the time frame and do keep in mind that while you are carrying out the process upon every reboot the first restart will take up a few additional and extra seconds. That's completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's wait for our phone to boot up and then i'll show you the result so it's now booted up and first and foremost let's launch the magisk app and verify the module so as you could see we have, have now the universal synchronous fix module installed likewise we also have the system source module added but this now both the modules are up and running and en enabled likewise go to the home section as you could see that is now enabled so once that is done you will now have to go to the settings menu then from here you have to tap on enable the toggle next to enforce deny list. Now go to configure deny list and from here tap on the overflow again in the top right and check mark show system apps. With this all the system apps are now so visible here and now you will have to hide the root from play service play store google service framework and the google play product service if it's available onto your phone. So let's now hide the root from these four apps. First off is the google play service so let's search for that app google play service so tap on it and make sure to enable all its toggle so let me show you just a minute as you could see we have enabled all the toggle for the play service likewise do the same for the google play store so select it and expand it and enable all its toggle next up is the google services framework so let's search for that services framework app as well this is the services framework so enable all its toggle and finally search for the google play project service it's only available on some phones so let me check if it's there on my phone or not play protect service so if not it's not there in my phone if it's there on your phone make sure to enable the toggle next to this as well once that is done you now have to remove the data of all these three or four apps so let's now remove the data for that go to the settings menu on your phone from settings menu you have to go to apps then see all 20 apps then tap on the overflow icon at the top right and check mark show system and let's now search for the play service app then go to play service then go to storage and cache section 
then tap on manage space and tap on clear all data and hit ok once that is done go back now select the google play store app so let me search for the play store app as well go to play store go to storage and cache section tap on clear storage and tap on delete once that is done you have to do so for google service framework as well so let's search for the services framework app so select the app tap on storage and cache then clear storage and delete likewise if you have the google play Project service app as well then make sure to remove its data as well once you have removed the data of all these apps you will now have to restart your phone this restart is compulsory so let me now carry out the restart once the restart is done i will then show you the result as well and we should now be passing both the tests so let's wait for our phone to boot up and as i have told you before the every boot up during the process might take up a few additional seconds that's completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's wait for our phone to boot up and then i'll show you the result of the process so it should only take a few seconds and our phone is now about to boot to the os so let's now unlock my so there is a bug that i will like to discuss if you now launch the magic app which in our case we have renamed to droidwin then go to the settings menu and from here if you go to the configure denial list then you could see the google service framework is unchecked and the google play services is missing from this list it's just a ui bug and it's nothing to worry about in the back end everything, everything is working well and good it's just the issue in the front end and you should ignore this issue it's, it will not be a cause of any concern so with, let's ignore that and now let me now launch the yasnac app you can install the app from play store make sure you are online and now tap on run safety net at a station and as you could see we are now passing both this test so guys on that note i round up this video on how you could pass the safety net test on the rooted nusantara rom if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching